Hello again, Struck 12. Welcome back to another stream of mine. Today I will be streaming the Brigham game. I've been postponing and postponing streaming this game, but this is a game that I think unofficially or maybe officially, I don't know if it's a, a um, sequel to the old, um, more than 20 years old PlayStation 1 Brigandine game. Uh, what um, what I personally know is that it reminds me of a certain Sega Saturn, Sega Saturn Saturn um, game called Dragon Force, but but not really. It only reminds me of Dragon Force uh, in terms of how you have a kingdom and manage and pick a side and so on. Uh, but when it comes to the combat, the combat is different. The combat is a uh, hex grid turn-based combat, which obviously Dragon Force didn't have. Um, so I like that game from the trailer, and I want to try it, um, I've included it in my upcoming uh, games video for May at the beginning of the month, and I think uh, I think some of you out there who like turn-based uh, strategy RPG games uh, would love it. This one is uh, a little heavier on the strategy elements than your typical turn-based RPG, so it's more of a strategy than some other games put it that way um, um, so yeah I'll, I'll, I'll go into the game hopefully hopefully me, me playing that um, help some of you figure out whether this game is for you or maybe in the opposite The Legend of Runersia, main mode. Choose one of the six powers. Oh, by the way, this game has been out for like a um, year and a half or two years almost um, on PlayStation and Switch. And now it's finally making its debut on, on Steam uh, several days ago. I think two or three days ago. I can't remember, maybe more. I, so it was this month. It was it was within this, uh, this past uh, seven days or so. So, the Legend of Runeria, there's a main mode. They've included creative mode um, with this release, which wasn't in the original release for Switch and PlayStation. I'm, I'm probably um, guessing here, but uh, most likely it exists um, now, this mode, on the other versions. But um, I can't confirm whether console versions will have this, but I would be surprised if they don't. So, creative mode is something new. Unlocked after clearing the Legend of Runergia though, and uh, alternate chapter is also unlocked after finishing the main one. Tutorial for those who want to learn, I'll, I'll go with the main mode. The background. この Shohei, what's up? How's it going? <laughs> I've been playing a lot of games from your country lately. This game, this game is a strategy game with RPG elements. Um, and it's for PlayStation, Switch and Steam. It, it, in fact, it has been on PlayStation and Switch for a while. For like a year and a half, uh, almost two years. So turn-based hex grid combat, but with a lot of kingdom management and a lot of units and stuff. You see, you see. <laughs> this month I've been playing a lot of Japanese games. Uh, can be helped. How's your weekend going? Yeah, 
最も大切なものが五つのブリガンダイだった。Shoot yourself. I never mind if you just listen to the stream. それぞれルーンの神から授かった五つの Go on and farm. Sure, okay. Occasionally you'll be here for chat. ブリガンダイを見つけたルーン。Enjoy listening. それはそれは他の騎士を圧倒したのじゃよ。Good work with the with the XP grinding. 大陸の覇権をかけた。Get t h o s e p a r a g o ルーナジア戦記に国名に綴られ、同時に戦いを通して、我らが知り得たある大切な真実も記されることとなった。だが、あるルーンの騎士によって。ルーナジア全土が統一されると。師匠はまるでそれを見届けたように。シモンファンとヴェリーナイスウェイトグラインドレベル。There's always gonna be either that one、uh, dungeon or, or that one instance、uh, or that one boss fight that would give you good experience per hour. Did they find some sort of named monster or a boss? Or, or was it、uh, a specific dungeon that you can speedrun by, by skipping some things and just killing these ones? The death's gonna patch it, isn't it? <laughs> okay, enjoy it while it lasts. Get those levels going before they, they ruin your fun. I wonder which,、uh, which section to choose. I've downloaded the quest with the character. I've downloaded the press kit with a bunch of characters, so there's this one. This one, this one, this one, that one, that one. I want to play with this one. I think I like、uh, it. It might, it might be some savage people or something. Elf, elf like creatures. We'll see. Five nations and one tribe. p u n c h the land of Runertia into a new era of chaos. Six rulers and their rune knights throw themselves into the flames of war, each within their own hopes and expectations. Norzaleo Kingdom. Republic of Guimo. Oh, she looks nice. Shinobi tribe. Yeah, probably play with the Shinobi tribe. Holy Gustava Empire. Mana Silesia Theocracy. United Islands of Mirelva. So, yeah, let's, let's probably select the tribe. I think I want to. Play with the tribes, people. They're actually in the worst situation. They're right in the middle, smack dab in the middle、uh, between four different countries. Those ones are probably in the best situation because they're at the very edge, so they only border with two. I think those ones border, this one borders with three. With those, with the tribe, and with、uh, those. And this one is the only thing I think that borders. Oh no. This one borders with actually three、uh, factions, right? Let me double check. I think how many borders you've got will be、um, what decides or what about the difficulty, but I'll go for the tribe. They're probably the hardest ones, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, select. Five bases, total knights 12, mana reserve 482, total monsters 30. Okay, Shinobi tribe. So you're farming a mission, nice. Hopefully, that mission was intentionally made that way. Easy, normal. Car I don't like limits. I do not like limits. So I'll go for this. 
I'd rather not be pressed for time and take the game at my own pacing. This guy, no. Deep in the mountains and valleys of the former Hazam nation lies the fortified all female village. I need to speed uh, things up um, with this. Um, from the settings, I can speed it up. Long ago, these women used their own. Okay, blah blah blah. Ah shit! I wanted to just uh, not not to skip it. Ah, that's it. But on this day, Talia and Trey were present to give witness to the birth of a friend's child. Sa, Megune-san, more a ガムネさん。<笑> ご苦労様。いよいよのようね。え、でも少し苦しそうなの。うん。そうね。少し眠らせた方がいいかもね。うん。え。ああ、じゃあ、ルーチ。ジャマンカメデスは was a master of shinobi magic. And the wave energy began to radiate, and in an instant, the pregnant Mac was conceived. Medessa, what did you do? Talia, wait a minute. You. Eh? Oh, that's it. A boy. Why? 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 They don't like men much, but how do they get their kids if they if they don't like men much? So, so na. Talia, you are the mother of the Shinrin Jo, Shuryo Dera. The exile males and don't permit them to live in this village. What the fuck? Okay, that that's some some Amazon kind of stuff like uh, the mystery or stuff like that. <laughs> Interesting. So they're like Amazons. But where where do their uh, males live? In which in which, in which nation? Do they give it to a specific nation or or to another village in this same nation? Through wall, yeah, it is separating the mother from from the child. Definitely true. Also, an indication of how little the women felt they could trust males. In order to earn foreign currency, the women of Shinobi village use their expertise in Shinobi magic to work in other nations as guards for intelligence officers. On this particular day, in Zai, the capital city of Mana, Alicia, Talia was on guard duty with Rei, whom she looked up to like a sister. Okay. 
<laughs> but they they have a good time with young men <laughs> from the tavern. Okay, so that's kind of strange. They they must after men, but they don't permit them to live in their village. <laughs> strange strange kind of Amazons. <laughs>城の外に出た時ぐらい男と遊びまくらなくちゃね。タリア、あんたも一度男の味を覚えてごらん。白龍の湯なんかより全然いいよ。やだもう。レイネさんたら。静かにしないか忍び。あら、忍びと呼び
大国に立ち向かうのをやめまるで奴隷のように貸し付いて生き延びようとするその結果自由を奪われ我ら忍び族の誇りは地に落ちた、うん、男たちは外にはヘラヘラと従順で里に帰れば女だから女たちは城を作ったんじゃなかったのどこの国とも自由に渡り合えるようになるために自由に So, as I suspected, I think the Hazam are the males that they exile after. And so, with the blessing of Chief Mother Deva, Talia came to don the brigandine of freedom. Then set off to conquer the world. Moved by Ray's courageous display, Jose and Sid joined Talia and Uncle Toby, half wild bazoo, half fairy, master of shinobi magic, on par with the late Ray. And lastly, Talia. もう一人私の娘を失うわけにはいかないわうるさがられてもついていくわよメデッサありがとうヨーゼ殿それにしようヨーゼ OK ノスプレイ娘レイのことではお世話になったと聞いてます心中お察しいたしますメデッサ殿出立のこの場でお悔やみを申し上げるのははばかられますがこのヨーゼとシド少しでもお役に立てればとハセさんじました礼を言いますタリアマザーからは逐一報告するようにとええ分かってる母さんずるいなんて言ってごめんなさい Very beautiful to the art I really like the art I want to do the art I want to do the art I want to do the art The lines, the shading, the covering. Even the background is solid. That's my five starting towns. Gameplay and basic rules. The main mode is where you select a nation, slash, uh, in brackets, power, um, to play as while you unify your energy by occupying all the bases on the map. So. So that means in the end, even if I do have some allies, I would have to betray them and occupy their cities. That does not sound nice to me. But I'll probably take advantage of the situation that those ones, the black ones, are attacking the blue ones. And maybe help uh, the blue ones by attacking on, on a second. So let's say the blue attack here, I'll attack there. Maybe. We'll see, because I think it would be good, good to attack those. But um, that would mean the blue might be getting stronger. And if uh, the other option would be to attack the blue while it's uh, getting battered by the, by the black one, then I'm getting things here that um, won't have much borders uh, with the purple to eliminate um, the, the chance of the purple attacking me. That's another strategy, to take over the blue ones first. I think it's easier to take over the blue than the black and uh, because it would keep my borders the way they were. If I were to go after the black, I might expose myself to the orange. We'll see. Other nations are also trying to conquer energy as well. Be sure to monitor the map carefully as you guide your nation. If all your nation's bases are lost, then it's game over. Gameplay is divided into organization phase where preparations are made and an attack phase where invasions occur. One season consists of one organization phase and one attack phase. So I would prepare for battle by summoning monsters, organizing my troops and positioning them at bases for invasions or defense. The horse icon at the top left of the map screen indicate uh, I am in the organization phase. Let's see who will attack me, I guess. Would I be able to see who is 
attacking me um, during their, their organization phase or not, I wonder. During the attack phase, troops units um, will battle to control bases. Other enemy nations will also fight each other during this phase. Defeat an enemy nation in their direct, uh, indirect combat to occupy their base. If there are no knights in the target base, you occupy the base immediately. A sword icon at the top left of the map screen indicates you are in the attack phase. The main map shows the distribution of power by displaying the flag of the occupying nation above each base. Move the mouse wheel up or down to toggle between three camera zoom settings. Frontline bases are enemy bases connected to your own by a single road. These are crucial sites as you may invade or have to defend next turn. Frontline bases are indicated with an icon of two flashing swords. So yeah. As expected, probably it's going to be a best strategy to, to occupy territories that won't increase my frontline bases. To, to reduce the amount of times I could get attacked. And the, and the amount of places from where I could get attacked as well. Place the cursor on the base to see its summary in the bottom left. Press the K key to open the base menu. You may summon monsters at your bases, they may then be assigned to a troop if there is a knight stationed there. You can see which units are stationed at enemy bases via base info. Note, the base summary preview only shows mana income and the three troops with the highest total combat power. Organization phase, first season. So I can be attacked from three places. Blue actually um, seems that blue cannot attack me. If I go for red, then this one would be attackable from three places. In fact, four considering the blue as well. If I go after this um, this black one again, it's going to be attackable from three places. If I go after purple, it's also going to be attackable from um, a lot of places. This one has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 bases on the red. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let me count again. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Yeah, this one has 10. This one has the most bases. So should I slowly take over some of the power from the ones that have more bases to weaken them or do I go uh, after the ones that don't have that many bases I wonder I've got two bases to worry about right now this cannot be attacked so I should probably move the troops. Let's see. Summon and troops. Summon battle units to strengthen your forces and organize troops by swapping units around. Each monster costs a certain amount of mana to summon. A knight's rune power determines how many monsters can be in their troop. Summonable monsters differ from base to base. Once summoned, they can be assigned to a troop and to move. Move troops to other bases to prepare for the next invasion or to defend bases from enemies. You can dispatch knights out on quests. You may also dispatch knights on quests to obtain rewards. Quests with a rune knight icon have a small chance of recruiting an unaffiliated knight. Keep in mind, troops out on quests will be away for a season and thus unable to aid in attacks or defense during the current season. Monster specific items. Items with an M icon can only be equipped by monsters. Set bonus effects. Filling all equipment slots with items of the same rarity boosts stats. 
For one star, it's uh, HP and mana by 10. Strength, intelligence, agility, defense by 5. For two stars, 5 more MP, 2 more uh, all stats. And then for three stars, um, another 5 more MP and another 3 to all stats. You can check the deployment positions of an adjacent base for invading and defending through. Terrain information like percentage of water, forest or mountain terrain is also roughly indicated. So I can summon different monsters from different bases. Very safe first. Once you finish teaching commands for the organization or attack phases, select end phase. This will trigger um, the next phase. End phase can be found in the phase menu, the system menu displayed with the end key or by pressing the big key. Selecting the end phase during an attack phase results in the one season. Jura, row. So I've got two troops here. Two knights over here. And at Tian I've got two knights as well, right? Barbarian Charlotte. Lancer Tion. Can't I just combine them into a single group? Can I look at the enemy units? See what units they have? I can't. Aha, uh -huh. oh level 16, fuck. They would be attacking him with the level 16. Attack, defense, mobility. Um, what else can I learn about this unit? Command range means how many units they can have, I guess. Here most likely I'll get attacked. So I need to look at the totals. Um, Total CP. I need two sent reinforcements here. So here the knights I've got first. Let's look at them. Level 13 and level 5. We've got Karwa and we've got Tuna. This one has command 4. This one has command range 4. And I think I can probably get one more um, knight. This one is only level 1, so I'm not sure if it's the best one. If I do summon, what can we summon here? Monsters can be summoned at your base during organization phase since your prep preparations are complete before moving on to an attack phase as monsters cannot be summoned in that phase. Turning monsters consumes mana from your mana reserve. Upkeep mana is also used at the start of each season to maintain your monsters. More upkeep mana will be required as monsters increase in level and class. And they will require mana even if they are not assigned to a troop. I may have up to 200 monster units summoned at any given time. Summoning consumes mana immediately while upkeep mana will be consumed at the start of every organization phase. Mana from all your bases is added to your central mana income, avoiding summoning and monsters. Um, avoiding 
By Void summoning more monsters than you can afford, or your mana balance will appear in red for that season. If your mana reserve reaches zero and you are unable to pay the required upkeep mana, you will start the battle on with your monsters unit HP and mana reduced by 30%. Revive summons will require the use. Okay, so reviving summons will use a special item called Revival Stone as well as mana from the mana reserve. Switch over to revive summon on the summon monster screen. Only the 100 most recently lost monsters may be revived with the oldest zone forever. Okay, before we summon, um, I'm gonna move some stuff. Frontline bases are those adjacent to an enemies. They combat you to see their site invade. Only troops at the base adjacent to an enemies may invade in the attack phase. Move troops to these frontline bases to assist with attacking or defending. Well, there is no limit to the number of troops that can be moved at once, only up to three troops may take part in each battle, so move wisely. Troops that have just moved from another base cannot join invasions on the following attack base. That have just okay. However, since they can defend the base their move too, it may be prudent to shift troops to bases vulnerable to enemy attack, which is what exactly I want to do right now. So I've got my strongest stuff here, I've got my leader, I've got the healer, and this knight, as well as the swordsman. Okay, I've got some idea of what I want to do. Where I can summon from the main base. So half of my mana is currently going for upkeep, so I shouldn't summon too much. Seems like a good frontliner. Rune growth 
S. Saint split whoop kill divine ray. I'll probably summon another angel, but I don't really have reserves for that. So probably starting with ghouls would be a good option. Fifteen upkeep. Let's check the other cities and see what we can summon. I want tech. Over here I can summon goblins. Paralyzed wave. Poison slash. doesn't seem that bad okay I'll keep it in mind I just want to check uh, what we can summon over here this one seems okay as well 35 upkeep seems to be ranged center shot power this no bite good front liner But 50 upkeep. Okay, and uh, what can we summon on this place? Doc. Rune growth S. Not so bad as a front liner. Uh, 420 isn't bad. 35 upkeep. This one is a good front liner. Golem punch. Much better defense, much better HP, less attack. Range one, range one. Okay, I'll probably summon one of those. Actually, let me double check. Is this a mountain terrain? Yeah, I think it will be nice to summon one of those. What about the command range? I'm not sure what what um, what's the deal with that. I'll probably summon. So CP is the the power. Wait, um, what what exactly does this ring? Obviously, it increases the CP, but why? 
what cut does it give? Maybe it, it, it prevents charming. It's called anti-charming. Let's see about the skill. Skill. Again, it doesn't say how much damage it does. I wish I could inspect you. I don't see any any bonus. But this one inf inf uh, inflicts charm immunity. Yeah, as I suspected. This is defense 3 MP 10. So each unit, ha unit has a class, their job or species. Gain experience through battles or quests to raise the unit's level. If the unit is a knight, the proficiency here will also increase. Units can change classes after fulfilling conditions such as reaching a certain level or proficiency tier, raising certain stats or obtaining a specific item. There are six proficiency tiers. A unit's proficiency tier increases by one for each level unit gain. Reaching tier 5 with its master will allow a unit to carry over certain spells and abilities when changing their class spells and abilities that can be carried over have a oops, uh, sorry have um, a master icon that will change color once the unit reaches the max efficiency tier. Which is this one. So healer units would be extremely important, extremely, if I want to make sure my units don't die and they get promoted. Classes cannot be reverted to a lower class in the same class type. So changing to a new type will allow a unit to start from the lowest class in that type. Okay, so there is respect but at the cost. So. Um, from a fighter, I cannot change from knight to fighter, um, but I can change from knight to barbarian, which is the, the first type. So they'll keep at least the tier. You cannot change to a class that is lower than your current class. You cannot change to your current class. The up icon indicates you can change your class. Select power in as your new class and press confirm OK in this case. A walk icon is displayed if you are unable to change class with the conditions that you need to meet grayed out. In this case, your proficiency OK. This one is a tempo knight. And this game has extremely high amount of depth. Extremely high amount of depth. That's a good thing, at least for me, when it comes to games like that. So this one can go from Temple Knight to Royal Guard. This one can go to Hellhound and Fenrir. This one, Hellhound, Fenrir, Goblin Knight, Goblin uh, Shadow Dog. No? Shadow Dog is not The Meteor Golem seems fun. So this hero and go into rogue and then assassin. The dragon can be either flame dragon that goes into ancient dragon or frost dragon that goes into ancient frost. 
What's the difference between this ancient and this ancient? I don't see a difference. Then thunder also goes into ancient. And holy goes into ancient. I guess how I'll care about this when it's time to do mold. I guess. What can I summon here? Okay, those ones. This one can protect itself, so I'll summon one. And I think I shouldn't overdo it with the summon. Hopefully I didn't summon too many or too little. I've got a troop here, I'll probably move her. Oh, she's a cleric. Perfect. Actually, we could use a healer here. Because I think I already placed a healer there. So this one gives you proficiency, that's what it does. I was wondering what the spear does, but I think it gives you attack whatever this is I probably should have uh, put the hero on a quest actually Okay, I won't do a quest this turn. It's my first turn. Um, how do I save? I'll save in a separate place. Number four. attack this first round uh, maybe yeah let's not attack the base manage the document let's select attacking troops uh, and an enemy base attack. or maybe I could attack we'll see only troops on a base adjacent to an enemy base frontline can be directed to attack orders that uh, have just been moved are unable to wait okay we already were told this base adjacent to an enemy base will display the total combined combat power of the three strongest troops stationed there if your combat power is higher than the enemies you can display some green ones finish the attack command and the attack phase and in their invasions. I could take this place here, but then I would leave this vulnerable. This one, um, I, I, I guess I'll defend here. Most likely those two will fight it out. I'm sure that there will be fighting going on here. My guess is that those will probably not attack me. It would be best if those attack here, but uh, what are the chances? Now I have to decide. I think the best thing would be to either attack here yeah, I think attacking here will be fine because this can only be attacked from, from like 
but uh, if I leave this one to, to keep growing, it would be dangerous. If I take this, I'm, I'm hurting their income. And they're the biggest power right now. But they can also be attacked here. They can also be attacked from here. Thankfully the blue cannot attack me yet. And I don't intend to make it so that the blue can attack me. I don't intend to take this one unless the blue takes it over. Then, then I will consider. I should have moved this unit and this unit that I summoned. They only have two troops here, and I'm assuming they will get attacked. Uh, most likely this one will attack. Making sure I'm taking everything. So those ones have got a lot of power. How much power have they got in the capital? Eight over here they have six thousand. This one is eight thousand. So this one we will attack here or there. This one we will attack here probably and take it over. Purple have focused a lot of power on this one. So I think it's the best thing to attack purple. And hopefully I can still defend while attacking too. My guess is those you also attack. If I take this 9000, they don't have that much uh, power left. 6, 7 and then another 9 there. If I take this, there's four places to attack me. But uh, if I take this, there's only two, three. They have a dragon, a golem level 10. This one is. Elements. Classes, skills, magic and equipment often have elemental effects. The, ele the elements are represented by five powers with different advantages and disadvantages when fighting against certain enemies. You can see the relationship between red, green and blue. So, rock, paper, scissors. Red beats green, green beats blue, blue beats red. Attacks cause more or less damage depending on the attack element and target defense element. So purple and white um, beat each other and um, have advantage against each other it seems. They are both advantage and disadvantage at the same time it seems. When your attack element is the same as the enemy's defense, the effects are negated. Effects without an element are affected by the number of orbs, but no element power... Wait, what? Attacks without an element are affected by the number of orbs, but no element power of the orb. What? I still don't understand this sentence. So, the number of orbs, and not the element of the orb. This one has 3, and this one has 0. So, 
So I guess the more orbs here, the more damage you would do if your enemy has zero orbs. Maybe that's what it means. Weak effect, strong effect. The strength of elemental damage depends on the number of powered orbs. If the unit's possession, in the unit's possession, if both units have red orbs, then the unit with three red orbs will have more of an effect on damage than a unit with only two. Each unit is each unit is affected by two slots, an attack element for dealing damage and defense element for defending. Units can equip up to nine elements in each slot. Wow. Class element. Each knight class or monster has its own element. Changing the unit class to also change its element. More advanced classes may add more orbs same element or even a different element. Elemental orbs associated with the unit class are equipped with both attack and defense slots. Weapons are assigned elements. When a weapon is equipped, the element orbs are assigned to a unit attack element slot. Armor is also assigned elements. When armor is equipped, the element orbs are assigned to a unit defense slot. Some accessories can affect both attack and defense slots. Set your attack element to one that has an advantage over the enemy's defense element in order to deal greater damage. Yeah, I was just thinking of that. Class element of equipment plus skill spell. Class element plus equipment. Base damage without type advantages. Black, weak to white, damage boost. More weak orb means greater damage. Aha! Nice. This one is too, too white. That's the enemies, by the way. Too white. More white. And red. So red and white is what I need to deal with. So what was it? Red beats blue, blue beats green. Where was the tutorial? Where was the tutorial? So yeah, red beats green. Um, uh, so it, let's assume this is fire and this is uh, nature and this is water. And this is dark and holy. So I need to find blue. If I want to attack them. And... Let's see what I've got here. This is with the healer, and uh, healer with uh, with with an angel. Interesting, white and white. Can nullify the um, the other guy. And this is the blue. It's perfect to attack um, the red one. And this red is definitely not the best. Let's see um, if if I will be defending. They have blue. So the green would be perfect to defend against this one. Oh, they have a healer and the giant snake. Oh, look at look at this one. That's a strong one. It's 
they have a red one and a white blue white red white blue Dragon, man. It's gonna be difficult. So thousand four hundred. One's total power is 3200. It will be tough to deal with it, but uh, there is a fire dragon. And then there's another fire dragon on the other side. Just uh, deciding who to pick for which fight. Because I want to attack the black dude. Um, the. Gustavo or whatever it's called. This one would defend for sure. This one will defend for sure. This one will attack. Although maybe if we could change a unit or two. What happens if I... Oh, I can't move. Should have balanced the power a little bit more. Shit, I won't be attacking here. I only have two troops and they won't be enough. Let's see the info here. They have red, blue and uh, dark. Uh, that's gonna be a difficult choice. Then green and then dark and light and green. They don't have a healer though. Three thousand two hundred, two thousand three hundred, two thousand three hundred. Maybe just defending this turn would be the best thing I can do. If I were to attack, I can use this one and this one, and they're just not strong enough. ダイトリオの娘、エルザ・ウザーラ。ファリア様。ご存知。え、え、ケゴの任務に出た時、ヨーゼ殿。そのエルザがどうかして。はあ。傭兵として後部の組で働いておりますとな。そのエルザ。
<laughs> so I think we'll have to defend against her. Excalibur kind of sword with testing. Uh, I'll reduce the music a little bit, a bit too much. Very beautiful to the art. そして自由だとは思いませんでした。自由。お。私のバレエを。そんな風に言われたのは。初めてだわ。いえ。ステージのあなた様は。まるで羽の生えた妖精のようで。申し訳ありません。でも。会場の警備はきちんと。<笑> Kalia had even given her information on the growing unrest growth and energy. Elsa Sama no Ochiue, Arden Daitoryo ga yama ni fushite irashiaru koto wa sore ni Ringoku no Nozari o Ogoku dewa Ruri no Saku Ustafa Shinsei Teikoku, soshite Manasari. Despite the fact that she respected Medesa like a mother, Talia found herself unable to share Eliza's secret. A wise Eliza. New Eliza Uzawa may very well become a powerful enemy one day. Yet even so, she simply could not bring herself to break the promise she had made to Eliza that day. Okay. So what, no one attacked me? Really? No one attacked me. Uh, I don't have much mana reserves this time and that's because of my upkeep. So what I'll do now is, first of all, group. Oh shit, I can't move the unit without a knight. Ah. <laughs> shit, I really wanted to move this unit without a knight. I didn't know you can't move units without knight. That means the unit here also cannot be moved, right? Ah, damn it. But, uh, okay, I don't think I need to summon anything else. Uh, what I need to do is rearrange my, my troops. So this is 4,000. It seems like it might be a little bit of an overkill to have 4,000. But if I'm going to be attacking, it's not so bad to have 4,000. Um, what I do notice is there are, there are troops here that are under 3,000. And I wonder if I can... I cannot do that. What I could do is...
I could give this one to to the green one. Now this green one could maybe give a birdie to someone else. These guys with blue stuff. So he probably doesn't need the goblin much. And maybe put the goblin here. This one is still super strong, so. So if I attack with the three strongest, it will be this one, that one, and that one. And then I still have, defend-wise, I have um, some left. Three point, okay, I don't care about this guys. Three point two, three point one, two point eight. I can beat those if I attack. I can also beat those if I attack. And I can definitely beat those if I attack. Did any changes occur? Um, no one seems to have attacked anyone or, or won. Three point two, two point three, two point three. So what? I'm not attacking, and no one else seems to be attacking. Okay, let's uh, let's fix things here. Three point six, three point seven. I don't like this having three of the same type of unit. Wait, what? Did my game crash? I think my game might have crashed. I might have done something the game can't handle. Oh no, it's stuck. Fuck. Okay, let me restart the game. Hopefully there is a auto save. I didn't want to do those, uh, switching those two units, but I guess the game must have some sort of bug when you switch the places of two units. Or, or I don't know what happened. In the meantime, as I said, I'll reduce the music. Oh, it doesn't remember my changes here, fuck. Okay, let's do it again. So, if I'm not... Uh, if I'm... Sh let's see. I gave this to that unit. I gave this to that one. Was it like this or was it like that? I think it was like that.
Titan has two dragon. Uh, it has a Thunder Dragon and a Wyvern. Just two units. But maybe those two units is all, all that that one needs. Lancer with an angel. What if I give that angel over here and remove the, the wyvern? Can I see the terrain? Where can I see the terrain? I want to send someone on a quest. Two category categories for quests. Exploration quest for obtaining items for monsters and training quest for earning XP. Okay, I think um, I'll... I think I'll send this one maybe. Number one, number two, and that might be number three. And then This one is a cleric, I want to send her on a mission as well, maybe. I'll send this one for items and this one for equipment. This one, this one's for XP actually, this one's for XP, the other one for equipment. Maybe too early. The outlook, I don't like the outlook for me being so yellow. So let's just have it in there. I'll send the
I want to see the the attack stuff. I think I win. Uh, I think I'm winning there. And I think I'm winning here as well. Let's go. Once an invasion begins, an arrow points from invading bases to defending bases on the main map. All battles are fought at the defending base. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Invasion, invasion priority when both sides have chosen to attack each other or when multiple countries attack the same base the troop with the highest total combat power gets priority and what does that mean that they would be attacking uh, and so the one defending would be the one with the lower troop or what Huh. It will take place at the weaker base. Start battle. Each base has a different battle map on which knights and monsters will do the fighting. The winning troops will occupy the base. If the invading side wins a battle, they will occupy the base. If the defending side loses, they retreat to another um, of the occupied base. If um, that was the last base of the defending side, it results in the destruction of the nation and game over in the case of the player's nation. In battle, you can choose up to three troops from all invading troops. In the case of a victory, all invading troops will be moved to the new base at one. The knight icons on the right show on the current action sequence. Invaders have a sword icon, defenders with shield. A knight's troop is marked with an A, B or C. With monsters from that troop are typically the same letter. Knights with the highest level go first, but the sequence can change if a knight gains a level during combat. Okay. Generally speaking, you win a battle by driving away all enemy troops or defeating the ruler. Knights will retreat, wounded if their HP is reduced to zero, but monsters with no HP are destroyed. When a knight retreats, all monsters in their troop retreat as well. When a ruler retreats, all other knights of that nation will also retreat and the battle ends. Mhm. <laughs> All battles are turn based, turn ends once all troops on both sides have finished their actions. Knights with a higher level will act first. Okay. Let's see. Move the cursor over unit and press the K key to display the unit's action menu. Make full use of each unit's uh, specialties to pave the way to a resounding victory. Command range. The area in which a rune knight leader is able to use their mana to give orders to the monsters in their troop. However, the cursor over um, hover, not however, hover the cursor over unit and turn forward hexagons around the commanding knight show up. And those scores hexagons show the command range. If a monster moves beyond this range, their strength is reduced. Monsters outside their knight's command range, range are indicated by an icon. Uh -huh. The effect the terrain has on a unit that can be used to give yourself an advantage. Okay.
their mobility access and evasion. Terrain text shown on the screen. The left shows current terrain effects and the right shows terrain after mobility. Good to know. Down rampart gives you everything, castle gives you everything. Uh -huh. I could take the choke point, but they do have flank units, but so do I. Wait, how do I move him? He likes forest. How do I tell him to move? Uh -huh. Skills and spells. You need to use skills and spells during battle. Injection menu select skills um, or spell to see a list of spells the unit can use. This list will show information such as range, power and element. Skills or spells that cannot be used after moving are designated by the footprint icon. They have stats such as power, accuracy and ma uh, mana points consumed. Element the power of your spell depends on the unit uh, and target elemental. Attack and defense as I assume. Range of your spell, accuracy against the uh, ground or flying, ineffective, effective, guaranteed. Use this skill spell and enemy will counter, enemy won't counter. Some skills and spells can affect the unit's stats or state condition. Let me find poison persist, over the m uh, persist from the moment they are cast. Others like faint and paralyzed recover after a set amount of turns. Some like petrify can only be cured with the cure spell. Status conditions are displayed above the HP bar and in the unit info. Person debuffs to attack up or defense down can make your unit more or less powerful. These effects last for a set amount of time and are displayed above in the affected unit HP bar and in the bottom left of the unit's info screen. <laughs> When an attack target is selected, the, pro the projected outcome is shown, taking into consideration each unit's stats, elemental merit, terrain effects, and other attributes. Increased attack stats. Three stats are shown in green, while decreased uh, in red. You can also check how much HP is left after the attack from the forecast. However, note that actual damage dealt may turn out to be more or less than the forecast amount due to critical hits or abilities.
Can I control in Z? I can't. Well, I don't have much forest. Why? This one can cure, that's nice. What magic can this one use? I want. Forest, but we can't get you in forest, my dude. So, Taria no Tameni Gambar Kano. We have to stay there. Is this the goblin here? Doesn't seem like he has much. Come They have a ranged enemy. This one can reach over there, but I wait for them to be on the water. I don't think they have a ranged unit. Maybe this one. Is this this one ranged? Acid Breath has three, three 
what so if if he put it here that means one two three okay I don't think I should be worried about the range of the Okay. Can I zoom out more? I can get those space so I shouldn't put the unit in there. They can barely reach the beach. Why can't I move to Munich? Okay. This cannot move. Aha. Uh -huh. So it's an action that ends uh, the moving stuff. This one will remain like this. Minamono! Watch in it, Suzuki! They're being very strategic. They don't, uh, they want to get within my reach. Okay, so zone of control. Try to overwhelm zone of control as you move. That's cool. I'll try to do that.
Okay, let's start attacking. Oh shit, this one can attack here. If I take this flower and put it over there, I can't move it yet. It's um, team A right now. Mina, what does she need to タリアのために頑張るかな one I could attack. I think they'll destroy my unit now. Ah, they have a healer. Huh? 
fighting in the water not that great. Defense skill, okay. We've moved that earlier. I think it's best if I take um, take out the lizard man as soon as possible. Mina, what is it? Many skills before moving this one. Yeah. Oh, units, does it mean mine, my units as well? Or just enemy unit. It doesn't say, uh, yeah, I think it will do damage to my own unit as well. This one's not paralyzed, is it? I probably didn't do this fight right and I might have to redo it. 
Okay. We have to read the disguise. So maybe I can revive the unit. Let's 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 fight until the end. I might just revive the unit that died. Because I don't feel like losing that unit. But zero was fights would be hard to, to make. It's gonna be uh, unavoidable to, to have some was in most cases. かかったわ。成果に期待して。マリオクを解き放つわ。Mason doesn't have much mana. Shit. Hmm. Let's check the elements. Mina no mono, wachi ni tsuzuke. Okay, the goblin level the Yeah. Nice otherwise. Itai no Kamae. Oh wow, wow. Huh? Oh, no, 
speed of their turn. Now that I've defeated this, uh, this commander, probably this unit That's why I was going after that commander. So far, I've only lost one unit. He'll probably kill this one. Isn't this one terrorized? Why did he attack? I wish I didn't have to press move every time or in click on the on the cap. Omokasare, Sinkoko Kotirani Katamkimas.
みんな私についてきて魔力を解き放つわ。タリアのために。頑張るかな。Okay. You retreated. Fuck. お任せあれ。選曲をこちらに傾けます。みんな私についてきて。Only I had more mana still.
リアのために頑張るかな。ご命令を今は引くわ I have to revive the ones I was. They was two units, I was two units. But they also had a commander defeated. Okay, now I'm a little bit more experienced and I know how to control stuff after my first fight. Wait. I need to decide who is A, who is B. Have ranged attack in this one. Okay. Gome, so come on, eh? Again, we got a bridge and water, and I'll probably just wait for them to come. So C moves first, shit, uh, I thought A moves first, now I, I reverse the order I wanted them to play at. I wanted healers to be after the, um, the dealers. I want food, let's give him some. At least they, they are past the And this time it's not uh, my units versus theirs anymore. Theirs is just uh, between my A and B. Oh no, that's mine. So there's their A, then my C, then their B, then my A, then my B, then their C. That's kind of how it is. Do they have forest units? Mountain. Mountain plain, mountain plain, mountain swamp, sky plain. So this terrain is river, I do road. Road seems to be a plain, uh, I guess maybe.
Mother's charm. She only has 300 mana, so if I lose mana, I need to be careful. I don't think they can make it, but just in case, but yes. The dragon is a little sluggish. But as you know, it's your name. You Shinobi's教えを実践する時が来た。おじいちゃんに習った通りにやるからね。Let's see that. Are oh, they going back, really? Mina, what does need to take there? Do it's my Chiban Tsuyo in there. I could put him there, but he's right in the middle of everyone if I put him there. Let me double check something. How far can they reach now? Probably best if I am the first the first attacking after all. That's very strong unit. If I push them into the forest, it should be pretty nice.
どいつが一番強いんだ I should avoid this in this style. いいでしょう。さて、どうしようかしら。一気に畳みかけるわ。No. <laughs> I wanted to move it, not to press the standby. I wanted to move it over there. Now they will attack my plant, probably. Or maybe they won't. Oh no, I should have moved the dragon. I'm making mistakes. Aren't they gonna come to me? They're not coming. What the fuck? And that's the enemy on easy. On easy, the enemy is smart enough not to move and to, to wait for me, grouped up there, to wait for me to make the first move. Pretty strange why they're not moving. Okay. Did you bait them? This one. Let me see how many ranged units they've got. This one is a healer, I think. This 
and he has a lot of defense. 100. That one is 115. First term fight. I try to debate them with a few units. Sate, Doko Karakuzus, the Arukana. Kashkomari Masta. Ikimasio. should be one of the last ones to attack so I'm gonna put it here internal process yes that's how, how you're doing uh, interesting cooking game looks like fire emblem a bit I'm not sure what Fire Emblem is, but um, it's definitely um, an interesting game. It's, it's supposedly a sequel to a game from like 20 years ago that was a PlayStation 1 game. Um, and uh, this game released on PlayStation and uh, Switch uh, around a year and a half, uh, almost two years ago. And it's finally releasing on Steam this month. Well, it already released some days ago should I attack now Let's do this. This one is green. It, if it's green, it's better if it attacks the blue. But the blue is over there. Oh, as long as it's not attacking the 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 red, we are fine. You're saying AI looks good. They're very KG. Look, and that's not easy, by the way. <laughs> and I 
And I selected easy only because uh, on the other difficulties there is limits of how quickly you have to finish the game, otherwise it's game over. Uh, when it comes to the the, the seasons, every 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 turn uh, is um, is one season, and you have two phases for every turn. Uh, outside of this, when 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 we're talking about base control and nation nation related stuff. <laughs> みんな、私に続け。みんな、私についてきて。This is a dangerous one. He has a charm skill. Oh, it moved after attacking. That's a dangerous one. Shit, not my pony. Who is the water uh, element one? This one is water, so I can attack it with the with the earth. Although it would be better if I were to eliminate the leader. Yohi is back from the grind. Uh, how many levels did you get? Welcome back. Don't kill my pony, no, no. Don't kill my pony. I made a mistake putting the pony there. Oh, crit, take that. I think it worked. You're saying ranked up one level, the max is 20. Yeah, that's fine. That is uh, solid progress.
only the three. I think they'll kill my plant and I'll have to revive. Fuck. He's going for my leader. It sounds annoying because she can move twice in a in a turn you're level 10 now oh, halfway there nice halfway mark for you in this charmed unit attack their unit which uh, was perfect for me this one is the green unit so it can attack some some water units maybe where is the water unit this one He's still charmed for how many turns? They could end up curing it, but for now let let's use the um, the dragon for um, attacking something else. Paint. What? Fuck. Sate, doko kara kuzushite yaru kana? What? Strong skill. Better wise. Nice. I like how they level up uh, during fighting. They they get experience after everything they do. They don't have to to wait for certain things. To, to end. Yeah, I'll actually use charm. And then this one, attack another one. You're saying this is a what like Fire Emblem, the way they level and combat. Interesting. It it is fun. Um one thing's for sure. Sounds paralyzed. What does paralyze actually do? Does it prevent them from moving or just uh, unable to move? But maybe they can still attack if they're next to me. Missing with the fucking silence. Shinobi wish I could kill the plant. Can't I'll kill the other one. This plant will probably lose it. Unless Mina, what 
私に続けドカーン大丈夫死なせはしないわ<笑>ああ痛かった。ああ、痛かった。ああ、痛かった。ああ、痛かった。ああ、痛かった。ああ、痛かった。ああ、痛かった。ああ、痛かった。ああ、痛かった。ああ、痛かった。ああ、痛かった。ああ、痛かった。ああ、痛かった。ああ、痛かキダラヘデスヨーセンギョンリディフェンスダティティアスファイナフェンティジェクトソートフィニシティファイティングインステルファーエムレムウェルユテイキョルホーティムスいやいつベーストンレベルデカイルレベルデデ Of the leader of the team, so you have three teams A, B, and C. And it seems like C goes first. I messed up because I thought A goes first when selecting the teams.、Um, but、uh, it doesn't matter. I guess it's not A, B, or C who goes first. It's the higher the level of the leader, that's the one that goes first. So you would ideally want、uh, your、uh, healer team to be lower level than your attacking team so that.、Um, You can, you can heal、um, at the end of the turn with the last team、um, after you take some damage,、uh, stuff like that. Or maybe you would want to do it in the middle. Or ideally, you would have a healer in every team. But、uh, yeah, the higher the, the, the leader、uh, level, the higher the initiative. That's kind of what decides it. I cannot charm another unit.、Um, should I cross someone? Or maybe I should move her. Who is this the plan? If I kill the leader, all of the leader's units disappear、um, of, of each squad. So, A, B, C,、um, any other unit with the same letter will kind of disappear if I, if I kill that leader with the same letter. Now, if I kill this one, those units will disappear as well. He's probably gonna retreat though. 
or maybe not. But she left herself open to attack. I do this. Now she's dead, and those other two units retreat. One eighty here, one forty four there. Sate, do she look as she five percent chance to charm that one, so I'll probably charm him again. So did it work? <laughs> I guess it did. You also have classes. You have classes and uh, promotions and items and items that are only for monsters or only for knights. So there's a lot of things in the game, a lot of depth. And the green thing is the area of the leader, so... No, no! If only there was an undo. If only there was an undo. I could have done a lot of damage to this guy. With that plan. This is a high level strong plan. だらけですよ。今は一気に叩きかけるわ。この手にマナの力を。They're It would be nice if the charmed unit attacked the, the B. Miss? Why? Maybe because he already had it on him. You got experience for what he did though. いいでしょう。このような事態をま。He retreated. Ah.私の力必要なようね。Oh shit. 
that was not planned. I didn't think they they would do that much damage. この手にマナに力をもっと強くならないと Better than nothing. I think since it's chance it won't attack back maybe. Did they run out of mana? Oh they're retreating. Okay. So in the first fight I was 2 unit, in this fight I was 0 unit. I killed 2 and 1 commander, just like in the first fight. And now I've got 2 more territories with more upkeep and stuff. So uh, you, if you get more XP, you should try and drag the fight out and not defeat the leaders. Maybe. Maybe you do, but um, I'm not sure if you get bonus experience for killing um, for killing units at the end uh, or not, whether it's still the same one. And again, the leaders can, can retreat. If they think um, it's not going well for them, they can retreat. As you see, as you see two of them already retreated. <laughs> まあ、そう、話せる。たりやったら、バズーには近づいちゃいけない決まりになっているっていうのに、この私にはペラペラとあらいざらい話してくれるわ。そんなお気手破り、マザーの私にはそうさ。Also <笑> there's five different nations and you can pick one. I picked the the tribe. The, there's there's four can uh, four four nations and one tribe, I think, or four countries and one tribe. I picked the tribe because they look like some interesting uh, elf-like creatures, although they're not really elf, but they do live in kind of forest and stuff. But they're only women. They're kind of like Amazon. They're they're a tribe of women that when a when a male child is born, they 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 um um they banish it and give it for adoption. It's an interesting backstory <laughs> for this tribe at the beginning of the game uh, when I selected them. I didn't know about that. <笑><笑><笑> よく物事を見つめ、考え来年には一人で外の任務に就かせなくてはならない年齢になる。でも、だから、ふとしたことで、あのこと会う男と出会ったりしたら、デラ。<laughs> so they have a, a nice moment between the two of them. Okay. As Del and Medessa sought comfort and solace in each other, their wistful voices filled the room with an air of me melancholy. <laughs> Can't we just say moans? 
<laughs> wistful voices. <laughs> nice, uh, nice polite way of saying moan. Okay. And I sent some some on quests to, to level up. Some heroes that were not used for attacking, for defending. Max proficiency theory. You can now carry over your magic and certain skills after a quest. I'll be showing you the quest changes now. So you can you can send heroes you're not using uh, with their armies to either level up or to go on a mission for, for Wu. So either XP in the training ground or um, looking for um, items. And that's the result of sending the, the heroes. Okay, so I took over this city. And I took over this city. But now this city here can be attacked from three places. It can be attacked from here, from there, and from there. And this one can be attacked from, well, a what? Four places. One, two, three, four. And most likely they were retaliated. Let's see where their units went. They retreated over here. One that probably means being moved. Okay, they retreated over there as well. How many seasons uh, do you... Mm, well, you get either 120 or 60 seasons. Uh, with easy, uh, you'd, you'd have no limit on the season. Um, the next one is 120 and then it's... Uh, and I'm not sure if, if it changes after that. In each season you have uh, a movement phase, preparation phase, where you can summon units um, and decide which, which group goes where. And then after that, attacking phase. Uh, I made a mistake summoning units um, that um, that don't have heroes to take care of them. I didn't uh, realize that you cannot move a, uh, a unit without a hero, without a knight. Now, how do I revive units? H revive. Not enough revival stones. Oh shit, how do I get revival stones? It will probably be best for me to attack this city. But I don't want to open myself up to the red ones uh, in another town. Now. The Black Army retreated um, to this place. So they can attack me from here if they feel like it. They don't have that strong of an army to do so. Blue and Black don't seem to be fighting much. So maybe he will put some units here to attack me in this place. What I can do here is recruit some units. Units cost mana and they also have upkeep. Giant snake sounds like a nice unit. I can recruit a rock and I can recruit some more mage. Let's see their, their magic. Show break resistance. I really feel like getting one of those. Actually, let's get maybe two of them. That's gonna be a lot of upkeep, but um, I've got some reserves, so might as well do it. What 
can I summon here? Group of men and dragon. Oh, dragon sounds nice. Can fight more of this. Now let's show you about um, the training. I think this one maybe can be promoted. Uh, it has some interesting icon on it. That. Is that the one I need? Do I promote a unit? Plus man eater. Plus change B. There we go. So man eater level ten or higher. This is the unit. Oh, it automatically changed plus after reaching 10 because this one doesn't have branches or maybe it already was i don't know i think it was men breaking on this one now this one is a thunder dragon but i think it was thunder dragon when i when i had him Um, there's fighter type, barbarian type, thief type, monk type, mage, priest. Swordsman is a fighter type. I will go into a swordsman. The basic. Uh, what about the thief type? If I were to go thief type, I need to start from the beginning. I think it was just saying that I have zero revival stones. And yes, I am at war with everyone um, that isn't green on the map. Everyone is at war with everyone if they decide to attack. I mean, I don't think there is an alliance system. Okay, um, I leveled up some armies. So where where is the... armies that I leveled up. I think they remain on this uh, city floor. Who gets the class change? Is it this one? I'm not sure who but someone got the class change. And I should have remembered. get um, something soon probably on the other city most likely on this city it would be this one or maybe the ones that changed classes already did it automatically
summon that reaches level 5. Could it be this one? Not this one. I need level 10. But it said something about skills being mastered. It says M. Lancer proficiency 5. M. So that means um, at proficiency tier 5 spells and some skills can be carried over. I can decide which skills and spells to carry over. I'm not sure how it works. So I'll have to figure it out later. Maybe later when I'm, um, when I'm converting to Temple Knight. I can carry this over, or if I decide to change to a non-lancer, I can carry over the lancer skills, maybe that's what it means. This one also had, uh, I think, efficiency. This this one requires strength or agility. Strength 53, agility 53. Yeah, you just have it. I'm getting soon to archers. They have center proficiency 5. Okay, um, I'm not gonna worry about this for now. This cleric, I need to move her. Moving the cleric over there. And then I'm moving this one. this one to level up to level 10 so we can get promoted With this army I'll probably defend. And I think I'm done with that phase. I'll defend here for this turn. 
I think uh, one of the best things I can do right now would be to eliminate blue. Eliminating blue would give me a lot of income and it would give me lands that cannot be attacked by others. Um, until I reach here and like start attacking me. But I want to defend one turn, see how it goes. So let me save number five. I'll end this turn the way it is. Oh, they didn't attack me. And you can only you can only attack with units that have been there before. The, the unit uh, that I move from here to there cannot attack. What I'll do now is with this one I want to collect some units. And I've got units already in, in other towns, so she'll she'll just move. So move to the capital because I have a unit there and take a unit from, from the capital. And after that she'll probably take a unit from here. But units who have moved can defend. They cannot attack, but they can defend. Charwood. Um, need her to go and train again. Or maybe I should train this. I train both of them. If I take this, I can go there. But I don't have enough units to defend here yet. What's my upkeep? Thousand um, and hundred. I still have a lot in the reserve. But I get like 900. wonder how I can get the Vilestones, probably from quest. I'm thinking of sending this one on quest. They can attack me from here, from there. Oh, they have a lot of places from where they can attack. I'm not seeing the 
other nations uh, having too much changes in their stuff. They're probably building units. Um, they're probably trying to build up better armies. It's gonna be risky if I attack here, but this guy pretty much is with two, with two armies. Cyclops. Uh, can the Cyclops do rank? So that's those two units that um, that ran away from me. I'll risk it and attack. Hopefully they don't attack me from here. Let's see what they've got there. Dancer. This one is uh, where they have um, a strong army. What about um, over there? Let's start. Man, look at how many heroes he, uh, he's got. Four, four, and four, and then one, thirteen. And I've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and eleven. I've got twelve. I need to get new heroes. So maybe that quest I complete could get me a new hero. Okay, I'll save and risk it. Attacking. Just wondering who, who I should risk attacking. Red or blue? taking them nation by nation probably would be best if I attack the red I, I I forgot to replenish one unit in that army. I could take this army instead of that one. Or I can just take two units. Instead of three, yeah, two, two should be fine for attacking. Maybe if I do this. Um, the goal is to, com to to conquer everything on the map. That's the goal. To, to to take every single territory. So if you wanna win, you have to defeat every single base. Take every single base.
まさか俺が忍びのために戦うなんてなま我が誇りにかけて全力でおえ、okay, have leaders with what HP Well, my leaders don't have much. So this unit, uh, if I if I kill it first, it will be good for me. If I kill this one first, even better. Taking down the the the, the horses will limit their healing. Uh, what do they have? Forest, forest, plain, sky, plain, swamp, and forest. So they have three forests and some plain units. Let me check their mobility. They can't reach far with the first turn. What I'll do is I'll probably move the dragon as far as I can and keep the others near the dragon. Sate, doko kara kuzushite yaru kana? I want the enchanter to be as close as possible to them. But first, let me let me check their their range and reach here. Okay, so it's safe to move the enchanter over to here. And have a proper healer just to heal over time. So this will be a tough fight. For me. Unless I kill their healers uh, right away. Sa Igzo! <laughs> See how they're trying to pull me. どうすればいい I reach them. I'm trying to to make them attack this one. Be it 
attacking next, right? Because it's A, they're A team, so this is decent loot. Fuck, I wanted to put it on the other place. Well, might as well rush in. Ah, oh, they didn't attack. They didn't take the bait. You can undo before you do standby. Strange, but nice. So I'm pushing um, this there, so they hopefully um, bite the bait. Okay, they beat. They'll probably attack there, or maybe not. But yeah, I can now kill this guy if he doesn't um, retreat and he won't. There is one way to do it. Like that, four units disappeared in the battlefield. <laughs> this one got a lot of levels. Oh, 
Let's silence the, the steward. Oh, nice. Eliza Sama no Tamini. They will be going with uh, maybe all four units after the dragon, maybe. Or at least with three units, we'll see. So the silence didn't seem to have worked. Let's charm the goblin. And now she can change to a sorceress. Perfect. Okay. Should I take this one out? Probably gonna retreat now. Oh, she didn't. Nice. No, oh, perfect. Now with the goblin, I think he's still charmed. But let's see. This one. Very bad damage. Thank you. 
just in case. And now we defeat her. But what if I were to attack a unit? But I'd rather not risk it. Bonus XP 200. I'm still getting 200 bonus XP. They attacked me, I think. His borders are surrounded by wash thick forests on all sides. There, women practice their own branch of black magic known as Shinobi magic. Men were once a common sight here, until they lost the trust of the women and were driven out and ex exiled. Currently, under Chief Dewa, known by her title of Chief Mother, the women were governed by a set of strict laws. After reaching ad adulthood, they had to travel to the outside, the world outside their forest, to take on jobs as guards, mercenaries, or spies. In this way, they earned money to support the village. Oh, I got some stuff. Malefic quotes. Equipable um, classes, dolls. And they're actually um, dark magic quotes. Training stuff. Cool. Night. Okay, another promotion. Eleven thousand there. I need to do some, some movement. I move Lancer, maybe. Because, yeah, you see here what's happening. They have eleven thousand in this place, they have six thousand, and I'm moving. 
I'm moving another 3.6 thousand. Uh, the thing is, they cannot attack. Oh, they can actually attack with all those 11,000, right? So that means I need to summon some units. Friends are not bad at all. Goons are not bad at draft fodder. Early on. They're cheap. And they have heap of keep. Now probably summon a bunch. One can change quest. I can convert those to ability. Okay. Now she has Geno Cross as well. Oh, and those units that didn't die after I, I killed the leader, they, they, they were um, left for me to command. They were charmed when I killed the leader. So you, you have to make sure the room power um, of, uh, of a certain unit is not exceeded. You can put 30 here and that's going to be fine. But um, What I could do now is... I could remove this. Q minus five. Why? This unit will, will move um, later to another army once it arrives in the next turn. 9.7 thousand. <sighs> I've got decent income and decent upkeep. So here, actually, let's. I want to keep sending people to quest uh, and to level up. Oh, quest. This one, from barbarian type, goes to berserker. Keep the counter damage. Someone else had a quest with this one. It becomes um, enter. I'll, I'll boost this here as well. Who should I send to level up? Who should I send to stun? This will be a strong stunting party. So 
So here I can only be attacked from there, and that's only 5,000. So if they send reinforcements, we defend this place, but then they'll leave themselves open. They could send reinforcements from here to here, but then there is going to attack from me there, not here. So I think I can afford removing one of, oh wait, I'm actually moving one of the troops. Here. So I need to have at least uh, six, actually let's make sure I have at least seven thousand. We've got four, we've got three, we've got three, and we've got another three. I wanna level up this one and I wanna send this one hunting and leave the rest defending. So let's Let's summon some wolves. Be the hunting party. This one will be the level up party. Although this 9 would be nice to level up to 10. So those are defense for. This is attack, this is level up. This is level up. I'm not gonna attack this time. Um, I'll attack the next team. Or maybe I should. Maybe I should attack. Let's see. If I were to attack, who can I use? I can only use this and this. Yeah, next, next turn. Once this one is here, I can then attack their capital. They have five heroes here. I hope they're not planning on attacking me. Five heroes is the what to deal with with this three. But if I play it smart and uh, eliminate heroes first, it shouldn't be a problem.
the fufu wall <laughs> is uh, sleeping. Um, not think the enemy is attacking each other. Let me see. 8,000. What? They increase the... Oh, I hope they don't attack me here. What I could do is I could attack them. To prevent this from getting attacked. But then I'm opening up myself here. Because right now this can be attacked from one, two, three places. And this from only one place. If I take this, uh, I'm adding another one, two, three places that could attack me. And if I attack here, I won't be able to defend there. I'm just hoping they don't attack here. Because I, I might have messed up something. I didn't think I would only leave one unit here. I thought there was a second army left to defend here. Not sure what happened to it. I knew I was moving one army, but it wasn't showing up there. Where did uh, Toby go? I was moving Toby. Did I move him accidentally to another base? Oh, he's here. So he's where I wanted him. Well, I hope um, nothing bad happens. I'm not gonna attack this base. I've got a safe. In the worst case, I could just... Uh, I could just attack uh, the army that's uh, attacking me. さとちかくの森に来る。確か出るがんとかいう。うん。しばらく見てない。そう。それは困ったわね。困らない。あいつ匂う。いない方がいい。確かに。あ、he's <laughs> <laughs> well, the very simple that one. Barely talk. Didn't they teach her? So finding the blacksmith hopefully lets me find some some good gear. Hopefully she joins my my section. どうしたじゃないわよ。あんた、私の依頼忘れたのそれに忘れちゃねえよ。こいつはその仕事のためにやってんだ。戦争が始まった途端、どいつもこいつも人の足元見やがって。それは気の毒だけど、仕事はち
So at least we found a new hero. Which, uh, I wonder if you can make weapons. Lightning recurve ice lance were obtained. Oh, lovely. Cool, cool weapons. もう耐えられない。だからずっと黙ってたのね。うっ。せっかくかっこよく決めとってのに。うん。言われてないですびっくりヒア。Thankfully <laughs> This one uh, great. Okay, I did not get attacked. Uh, lovely. Now we have another unit here. Perfect. What I could do here is attack there. I'm opening up uh, only two places to attack me. Where did the blacksmith go? He's here. Did I move him? Oh, he does have some good stuff with him actually. I might keep him here. Oh, look at how many they've got here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think when they're defending, they select the, 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 the three strongest. So 4,000, 3.8, 3.7. 3 3 and 3.7. I, I'd be able to beat that if I want to attack. This is a very nice spot. I cannot get attacked from that side, so I can only move forward. And then I can move, take this one from here. And after that, I can move and take this one. No, I'm not sure until I take that one. So I'll take this, this, this. Eventually this. And then that. Maybe after I take this, I can go back. And attack here and here. We'll see. But the questing part works uh, nicely. 13,000, 10,000. They still can beat my 13,000 here. Staying there uh, to intimidate. Okay, now, what was it? 4,000? 3,000.8? 413837 is what I need to beat. Wizard, Knight. And Rose Knight. That's there. Actually, if I defeat this one, the whole battle is over. If I focus her, but she's level 21, so it will be a tough, uh, tough fight. And then the level 21 wizard. Um, he's gonna be also a tough um, one. Look at his range. Solid. One, two, three. Magic down. He has so much stuff. He's something AOE. Kill Hound. Firebust, okay, and this one. Punch this one, um, the horn, the fuel, and the fuel. So that's two healers. And can this one heal as well? We get both allies. Heals and feathers.
No. So, in terms of units, it's blue. They've got blue, red, and green. The heroes are mostly red. So, if I've got some blue on my side, which I think I do. This one's the blue. This one definitely needs to be attacking. So if I leave this one to defend and attack, that's going to be fine. And in fact, I might just... Um, Just move the blacksmith. The ghouls are nice for fodder. I'm wondering if I should have more ghouls. I'll put the healer in another army, just so every army has a healer. I think maybe something like that would work. I've also got that one, which I need up here. I can send this one on a quest, although he's pretty weak, um, so I can recruit him from the quest. Upkeep 1.3, income 2.3, yeah, we can recruit him. I'm thinking of sending him to level up, but um, let's check items first.
Or does the sun get back? I'm not sure what it does. What the hell is consume items? Is it? Oh, this gives green, um, green uh, strength. Okay. Thunder Spear Can I give the Thunder Spear to someone? I can give that to a unit Checking if I can do them. So the dragon unit will be extremely mm, important for me, but he's my high HP unit anyway. But he'll do a ton of damage. Let's save. Sending this fella. I think Rain is not as good. He also doesn't seem I don't want two healers in the same place.
Oh, look, uh, I've got something to fix here. Um, well, we'll have to, we'll have to. I think that's fine. Oh, there is a bot. Let's walk that bot. Mm, let's remove him from from that from the chat. There we go. Bot one. Okay, so this one can join the army, but um, not much I can do about it right now. Maybe, maybe like that. That could work. Okay, so we have Hewer here, we have Hewer there. This is sorted. That's 11,000 versus, versus 8. I won't attack yet though, I'm just keeping it here. I could attack here though, with two units I can uh, I can take over that city. But let's just uh, do it one by one I guess. Thousand, thirteen thousand. I can send an army of three thousand on a quest here. Let's send this one. Wait, uh, what units do I have here? Let's say I send this one on a quest, and I just put um, that unit there. Wasteland, this or this? Yeah, so what is rings and armor? Yeah, I want armor. Armor, ring, this one seems like the best. It's armor, and armor, and ring. This one is 8,000, this one is 11, so I can like take 3,000 away. By the way, this 8,000, yeah, it's from three heroes. What I'll do is... Oh, this one can level up its class. Nice. In case I need to defend, I'd rather have this one here. So those will go and level up. Maybe again level up seems to be the better option for them. Let's see, I'm gonna check quests. I 
I could try, I could try this though. With single outlook. I want to see what's going to happen if I do single outlook. And let me save. And let's see how it goes. Oh fuck, I forgot to attack. Yeah, in just a moment. I forgot to attack. Good thing I saved. What happened? Did the game crash? I think the game is still buggy. I need to restart it. Come on, well, the game has started, but it's a black screen. Okay, in just a moment, I'll make sure the executable is shut down with task manager. Maybe I need to. It is shut down, so why is it not starting when I, when I restart? And then. Again on the task manager. Did we break the game? Maybe I broke the game. I mean, I can see the cursor. You you probably see it on your screen as well. The game is started, but it's in the black screen. Kind of annoying for the game to break in such a way where the save got fucked up. And now it's just not, um, I know, I know what's happening. Let's check the game files, maybe something in the settings. Seems like it's a Unity game, Unity player, Unity crash handler, let's see. Where could I have some important files, config file? open that with, uh, with notepad. I don't see what broke without looking to the game files. Maybe there is some setting that I could switch off.
not sure what, but something is broken with the game. And I'm trying to find the settings file to reset the settings to default or something. Trying to restart the game, hopefully it works this time. Boot config, maybe this file. Ah oh shit, it's opening with Visual Studio. No, no, fuck. That boot config doesn't seem to do much. What the hell? This is the weirdest possible um thing. Let me check on Steam if someone uh if someone reported this. I'm gonna Google this. I'm gonna Google Brigandine Oh, oh already uh, first uh, result that thing. No one re uh, replied, but someone re reported this seven days ago. Okay, let's see if... Um, okay, I found another result. Hmm. Fuck, I, I don't know what uh, what to do with that black screen. I'm, I'm googling stuff. And uh, it was working fine. Why why does it suddenly stop working? On the on the game's Reddit, there are people who have reported that. Okay, I, I can try tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to try to fix it and hopefully I can fix it and stream some more tomorrow. But um, there isn't much I can do right now until um, the game actually boots. Uh, I'll do one last try. One last try to, to get it to boot. Um, and hopefully it will work. I'm just going to double check again in the task.
whatever can be updated might fix this. Or uninstall and reinstall of the game could fix it. I'll, I'll see where the save files are and uh, maybe copy the save files and then install and reinstall the game tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, it's gonna. I'm, I'll be done for tonight. Thanks uh, for this. Hopefully, I can get it to work uh, later on. Keep it cool from me until until next time and bye.